Just first, just your assessment of uh, Bruce Brown, what he does for this team and, and the night that he had for the career high 29. Uh, he does a little bit of everything. Uh, he's a guy that just goes out there, competes his butt off every single night. Um, and great things happen for him, you know, especially with the talent level that we have on this team. Um, you know, sometimes we need him to play center, catch, uh, set screens and roll to the basket. He's an you know, unbelievable cutter. And tonight, you know, he's, he showed us he's capable of knocking down the three ball. So uh, he does it all. He works his butt off. And, you know, when you work, when you work your tail off and, and just keep grinding and pushing, good things happen for you. And um, I'm so happy for him and I'm proud of him. The, the run that you guys have been on, is it a, just a natural progression? Was it the Pistons game? Was there a conversation that sparked the increased intensity? What would you say has sparked this run where you guys have just really been locked in and really on seven straight wins? Uh, it might have been that Pistons, Pistons game. Uh, might have, I mean, it's not the one, one thing particular. It might have just been like, we're tired of losing and let's, <laughs> let's, let's start winning, you know, and, and by any means necessary, whatever it takes. And, you know, each guy's been locked in. Uh, we've, been, we've had so many, or a few, you know, guys in and out lineups or whatnot, but the next man up and the next man ready to go. Um, you know, obviously Jeff TLC was out tonight, but, you know, just guys kept, came in and, and was prepared and, and played big minutes and, you know, they stepped up. Alex Shiver with The Athletic. Hey, Jan, I was just curious when you saw the Knicks game tonight, it being the first time you played with them this season. Who was, was that? Just what you thought of Nick Claxton's game uh, tonight, Phoenix, for, yeah. Very good. I mean, he's, he's great. Set screens, roll to the basket. Um, obviously, it's his first time out there all season long, you know, or since I've been here. So um, it felt good, you know, to. If I'm happy for him to be actually on the court, you know, as, he's, as, he, as I've been here, he's been training and trying to get in shape and trying to get healthy and get his body right. So it felt, it felt good, I'm sure, for him to be on the court and actually, you know, um, you know, showing the work that he's been putting in. So um, as, as the games continue to go on, he'll get more confidence and, um, you know, he'll continue to be better. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, it might seem like a weird question, but what does it do for a team to win seven in a row? Like, does, does it give you guys an extra feeling about yourselves? Like, what, what's the feeling now that you guys have won these many games in a row? Uh, we have to continue to keep going, you know. Um, this always is a tough game coming off a long road trip, uh, whether it's legs, whether it's just the travel, whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, we kept talking about it all day, even this morning the shoot around that, you know, we got to be prepared. It's going to be a tough game, but we got to be locked in, whether it's our legs or whatever the case, no excuses. And we came out and showed that tonight from the beginning of the game. Um, you know, so we just got to continue to keep going, uh, get some rest and be prepared every single game. I'm Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. James, there were a couple guys tonight who really hadn't played before, you know, not just Nick, but Andre and uh, and Chump. How was it just kind of getting in a rhythm with all those guys and, uh, you know, working with them? It's easy for us. Like now, especially, you know, our roles are defined. So uh, those guys come in and they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And they came in and did an unbelievable job of it. Um, and that's what's so great. I think that's why we're more comfortable now because guys know their roles and know what's, what to expect from themselves and the rest of our team. And, you know, once everyone has an understanding of that, um, you know, as a team, we're, we're much better, you know, no matter who checks in the game. And that's that's why we've been so efficient as far as, you know, when one guy goes down and one guy isn't in, in that night, then the next guy is up and he knows what his role is. So uh, we have to continue that. And, and we have done a really good job of it as, as of lately. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, James, uh, yeah, two quick questions for you. One, um, is this a game, um, a lot's been discussed about your guys' record against quote, losing teams. Is this a game that you guys might not have won two or three weeks ago? And in terms of the All-Star game, uh, obviously you've made a, a string of them in a row, but I mean, is there any different feeling if you're going to be going to an All-Star game with two teammates, assuming that KD is healthy in present? Um, what was the first question? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, I think for us, you know, we can't worry about what happened two weeks ago or, or our mindset. I think now we're in a whole different mindset. And, um, you know, we just got to stay that way. I think we don't take, we don't look at the names on the jerseys. We look at ourselves and figure out how can we be great every single night. And, um, you know, we, we prepare ourselves as much as we can. And we go out there and play our brand of basketball every single night. And as of lately, we've been doing that at a high level. Uh, and wish we'll continue to do that. And then for the All-Star game, it's always a blessing. Um, that means you're doing something right. That means you've 
been playing extremely well up to that point, and uh, you want to never, you never want to take opportunities like that for granted, you know. So I'm blessed, I'm fortunate to be a part of uh, my ninth All Star game, and you know, yeah.